wouldn't be able to give to them. You said them. Um, Collins is serious about getting married to you. Okay. Since he loves you that much, taking care of your children shouldn't be a problem to him, should it? I haven't told him about that yet. And I'm not sure he'll eventually accept it. Then be patient. Till you find out for sure. Greg should wait. There is no reason why you should rush into such a sensitive decision. Um, I have thoroughly thought over this. Trust me. Tell me a little. Are you sincerely interested in the welfare of your children? Or you just eager want to get rid of them so you can quickly move on with your life? I want the best for my children, Daddy. Hmm. Greg is their father. And we have agreed that I would pay them visits occasionally. Hmm. All right. They are your children. If you want to dash them to him, that's your problem. But I insist the adoption is done in a formal, traditional manner for the protection of the children. After all said and done, Anita. You still allow Greg to take custody of those kids? I had to weigh the odds like you advised. And I guess they just need to be with their father. How is that? If I insisted I keep the children, he will stop paying for their school fees and that will leave me stranded. Uh, forgive me, honestly. I am lost. I don't even get that line of logic. Is the boss you want to marry a poor man? No. So why will you be stranded, Anita? Um, oh no, no, no. Wait a minute, Anita. You've not told the guy about the kids. Of course I have. <sighs> Thank God. Because you almost scared me on that one. You know that's something you should not leave to linger for long. I mean, come on. Why wouldn't I tell him such a thing? Anyway, let's change the subject. I hope you're coming for my introduction this weekend. You know you have to come and meet him too. This weekend? Mm -hmm. This weekend, Anita. You of all people should know that I'm relocating to the US with my fiance on Thursday. Oh. I totally forgot, forgive me. Well, that's not really surprising to me because you only think about yourself. That's not true. <laughs> oh, I'm hurt. I'm not talking to you again. <laughs> I don't think about this. I know. I understand that feeling, my child. <laughs> have you finally told the young man you already have children? Tonight is the last opportunity you have before that boy makes an irreversible commitment towards you. Do you think it's fair to betray him with such a deep secret? I will tell him. I will, at the right time. Simple response. But it's never going to be the right time. Papa, at least the children are comfortable with their father. I don't think there's going to be a problem. Oh my God. So you don't ever plan to tell him about them, do you?
Hello, Jerry. Hello. How much is this? Anita, quite a long time. Hmm. This must be your new catch, hmm? Point of correction. My husband, Harriet. And I'm sorry, we need to go in a hurry, okay? Oh, Anita, stop that. Don't tell me you're still angry with me, telling Fred. Oh, sorry. I almost said the secret out again. Hi. How are you? Um, Harriet. Anita's friend. Um, fine. We're going to have a hit to get through. <laughs> Why? How about it? That's how you look. <laughs> oh, baby, how can you say that? How can you say I look like an old woman? <laughs> okay, so. I can't believe you. Okay. How do I look, honestly? Tell me. How sure. do I look? Alright, now I'm serious. Seriously. I'm <laughs> Seriously, okay. Now I have it. You look like, um. You look like a wrinkled up grandma. <laughs> <laughs> In the kindergarten, actually, that's a Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So now, why are you doing this? Look, I already told you you could do without a uniform. Come on now. Because I didn't want any special treatment. Really? Look at you. You know I'm so proud of you, you know, right? I mean, not everyone is going to put pride aside, get into this uniform, and then mingle with children. I am proud of you, darling. Well, I gave you all the thanks, darling. At a point when I thought all my dreams had faded away, you brought happiness into my life. Anytime, darling. Anytime, and like I said, I'm going to stand by you hmm? every step of the way, okay? <laughs> Even if you want to become a professor, <laughs> I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to be late this All right. Um, all right. Okay, yeah. It's that part of my life where I have to do school runs. So let me just pick up the car keys in the living room and I'll drop you off. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hey, how are you people? Oh, 
Mama will be fine. I can see that too. Oh, fine. Hey, where is your wife now? She should be in the room or in the kitchen. You know how it is, Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you, my son. Why are you looking so good? Ah, thank you. Hey, Nemo. Oh, dear, mommy. So, how's, how's Papa doing? Ah. Uh, my dear, his, get, his uh, health is getting worse, so yesterday we had to call the doctor and uh, he gave him more drugs. I hope he'll respond this time. Oh no, he will, he will, he'll be fine. You know, sometimes um, these things come with age, you know, but he'll be alright, he'll be fine. Mm. Mm, I pray, I pray so. Hey, you people are fine. I have told Mama that Papa's problem is only psychological. He suffers too much from his gratuity that is not forthcoming. <laughs> you know him now, every little thing bothers him. Mm. I've been advising him to take it easy. After all, we've been surviving by the grace of God. <laughs> his gratuity. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, tell Baba I'll come see him over the weekend. All right. I'll make our time to come see him over the weekend so that we can talk. All right, and please tell him I said he should relax. Gratuity or no gratuity, I can take care of him. All right, I mean, that's why I work. I should be able to take care of my father in law. Thank you, my son. I trust you now. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I was preparing something in the kitchen before you arrived, so let me go back and continue, okay? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I hope it's something delicious. Oh, you love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, now hurry up. I know. Hey! Speaking of Papa, you know, I want to be. <laughs> no, don't mind me. There is nothing wrong with him. By the time you bring one, you will <laughs> you know you bet now. <laughs> Are you serious? I'd like to come to the house and see your boss face. <laughs> when you see that in front of you. Are you serious? It would be nice to see your father. It would be nice to see him. It's, it's so much fun to be around. <laughs> Having fun, disgusting. Well, I needed to be there something in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, come on. Please. Please don't stop it. Don't disrupt our conversation. Mama was just telling me something very interesting about Papa. Please now, don't do this. It's okay. Anita, Bridget can help you now. Let me finish talking with my email. Mama, it's your attention that I need in the kitchen. Not Bridget, it's okay. Please. Okay. My email. I'm coming. <laughs> It is not my responsibility to tell your husband about those girls. It's yours. Mom, please make sure that it does not slip out of your mouth by mistake. Please. I don't want any trouble in my marriage. I beg you. So I'm the one giving you trouble. Now. You know I'm not comfortable with all your many secrets. Members of your family are not the only ones that know you have children outside this matrimony. Down. Oh, Gabiko, don't hush me. Don't hush me at all. I have not raised my voice. You are here disturbing me. What if Bridget innocently mentions this to him right now? I think you and Bridget should get going now. Anita, it's again. That I should leave your house. Mommy, please do not put it that way. I just don't want any trouble. That's all. Hey! You did that time out of me. I need that soon. Get that 
can you long can have once no noka? You open this same mouth you used to eat both yam and coco yam to order me, Ndidi, out of your house. Okay. I have many things to tell you from here. But I will not say anything. I won't talk to you. Because if I do, stay in the house. I will fight you. Why? Just understand me. I will bring you some of the things in the house. I beg. Alright, I'll let you it's not safe to leave your father and your alone in the house because of his hurt. Yeah. Let me go and take care of him. Yes, I know, but at least spend some time with us and then eat something. I guess it's my fault. I should have cooked the food before they even got here. I'm so sorry. Mama, Mama, Mama. Okay, as strange as this is, I am. Um, uh, now let you go if you insist, okay? Well. Alright, Mama. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm angry. I will take it. All right. Thank you, you very much, my son. I'm better to see you. Thank you. Buy something. Thank you, my dear. God bless you. God bless you. Let's see you to the door. Okay. Hello, please. Do not forget to leave my message. Bye-bye. Greetings to everyone. What was the problem? I, I can't help but think that you were pretty unsettled with your man's presence in this house. It's only your imagination, honey. My imagination? Come on, darling, it doesn't add up. Look, I feel my mother in law is practically thrown out of this house. That's how I feel. Honey. You do not know my mother more than I do. Mama is over restless when it comes to my father's health issues, okay? My mom is over restless when it comes to my father's condition. Him there. I made her throw us out of the house. She didn't throw us out, my dear. I am not a fool, Mama. Okay. It's not important, my dear. Eh? But just to make sure you don't ever make the mistake of letting her husband know that she already has children. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. What's wrong with Sister Mika? She keeps too many secrets and ate everyone for it. I see we are responsive. Hey! Shh! This is not the place for such talk. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. My cousin, the madam of this house. My madam, I know say I the come <sighs> Stop interrogating mama for me. Tell my cousin, Emeka is here to see her. My cousin, go. Emeka. Who is at the gate? Madam, now any day is can ever I say I be my cousin, Emeka. Okay, Emeka, go. Yes, Emeka. Good day, cousin. I must say you have quite an interesting get man here. Oh. How come you didn't call me first before coming? Uh, uh, but I called you yesterday now. You were like, uh, you couldn't hear what I was saying. I'm very tired, cousin. Can I go in at least? Um, 
You can't come in. Um, you know what? Go to Papa's house. I'll, I'll be coming to see him this evening. Cousin, you mean you don't want me in your house? Don't put words in my mouth, Emeka. I do not say that. I'm just saying that it's not convenient right now, okay? It's not, it's not okay here. So you know what? You just go to Papa's place. I'll be coming there this evening, okay? <laughs> you mean I should go? Yes, yes. Go to Papa's place. I'm coming there myself, so you just go. Take the lead. I'll be late. I have some other things to do, so when you go, I'll be there. Go. Go on, Alan. Thanks. Thanks. Whoa, excuse me. Whoa, excuse me. Whoa, excuse me. Haven't I apologized enough, Emeka? I'm sorry if my, my reactions embarrassed you. I am sorry, okay? I am truly sorry. All right, see. I even came with your school fees and your upkeep allowance. Hey, excuse me, please. Excuse me. I didn't visit your house to beg for money, okay? I've been able to sustain myself in school with my Barbie salon business. Hey, I only thought since I couldn't make it for your wedding, I should come and say hello to you and your husband. Yet, you treated me with such levity and humiliation. Jesus Christ. Rebecca, I admit that insult has nothing to do with anyone going to beg her for money. As you can see, her husband is taking very good care of us. But she has made it a habit of humiliating every member of this family because of her personal secrets. Me. I have sworn never to set my foot in her husband's house again. Haven't I asked all of you for your understanding? Of course, now. I'll keep your secrets by keeping my distance. Greg, Greg, there is a nanny in this house. I know, but you see... But what? No, Greg, ever since you went and claimed those kids, you've completely switched off me. You showered them with all the love and affection without even a simple glance at me. Come on, baby, it's not true. Please, please, I'm going to truly throw my hair. And I know how it is. Because I'm getting sick of this. I can't just take it anymore. Alright, so let's not have any misunderstanding, okay? Uh, Gloria! Sir? Um, take very good care of the kids. We'll be staying out late, okay? Okay, okay sir. Alright. Check on them regularly to see if they're alright. Baby, let's go. Make sure you check on them regularly, okay? Come on. Yes, sir.
You know how hard I've tried to keep this for. That's what I get to hear all the time. So sorry. I know how hard you tried to keep this one. You have been reading me the same script for the past six years. And it's ever since we got married. It's been six years now and same stories. Same stories, Anita. I need to have children. I also want children. I don't know what's, what's happening to me. I don't know what's happening to me. Not exactly. You don't know what's happening to you. The doctors keep saying you're fine. Yeah. So that says there's absolutely no reason your, your womb shouldn't retain children. Look, listen to me. Hi. I'm getting really tired. I'm getting really, really frustrated. And you know why? I'm not getting any younger. You tell me, when do you intend for me to begin to train my own children. You tell me, at an old age? I will keep trying. You will keep trying. Oh. That's what I get to live with. sentence I hear all the time. Angels, give us a second, okay? I'll take you to start to the room. I'll be with you soon. Tyrese, you see what your high handedness towards the student have caused in the South? Don't you dare talk to me about high handedness, Greg! Because you're the one who neglects my feelings in this house and you choose to support your children on every issue! Our children? They're not my children! Oh, so it's so. So we had to settle this thing before we go into this country. No. You had everything worked out to suit your own plan. You never interested in me. You're always interested in my father's wealth to upgrade your, your financial status. Wait, wait, wait. Is it my fault? Is it my fault that you're barring any kind of children of your own? That you if you ever maltreat my kids again in this house. Yes, I your house. Now let me remind you that this house was bought with my dad's money and everything you own owed to my dad and consequently to me. I'm gonna pick a fight with you on this. Let my children be.
Papa can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, 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 Where is the mom? Ah, oh, she's sorry, she wasn't able to make it. So we have to make it. Greg is a cousin who used to live in South Africa. He just recently relocated back home. Okay, because I was wondering... <laughs> I was wondering, you, you never mentioned him. Mommy denies she's our mother. I wish I knew. I'm going to see her.
Yeah. Um, so what's uh, what's going to happen to your sister now, as it is? Oh, well, I I really wish I knew what I could do with her. I'm sorry, you lost me there. What do you mean you really wish you knew what to do with her? I mean Bridget. She's 16 now and in the university. She also needs thinking that um, she probably move into the hostel with her mates or probably go live with Emeka or her cousin. Oh, Anita. <laughs> you know, you, you never cease to amaze me, really. So you'd rather have your sister, your sister, go squat in a campus hostel with some strangers than coming here to stay with us. I mean, you have a house as big as this, all to yourself. Really, I don't get it. The space here is, is, is crazy. It's constantly yelling for human presence and you want her You really get me thinking, honestly. I don't know. Is that something I should know? Is that something that forbids your family for coming to spend time here? Darling, please, why do you make it sound like. But what, why do I make it sound like what? What I'm saying is not entirely out of context now, is it? But tell me if I'm wrong. Over the years, I, I have watched you evolve from being the woman that I fell in love with to a total stranger. Honestly, I don't understand you anymore. This is not the woman I got married to. Darling, please. Okay. If you want my sister to come and stay with us, that's fine with me, okay? I was thinking along that line too, but I just didn't know how you were going to accept it. Alright. Well, now you know better. Well, then it's settled. That's surprising because you've never looked for me for anything before. <laughs> Is that your friend? Hi. Hi. She's drawn. The friend squatting me at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what actually brought me here, Bridget. Oh, you didn't tell me you planned moving into the hostel. I wouldn't have allowed you to. Why? Where else would I be staying? Emeka's place is too far from the campus. You don't expect me to stay in that area house all alone. No, it's not possible. You're moving in with me. You didn't just say that. The same house you've never wanted me or any member of the family to visit. No, I'm okay. I'd rather stay in the hostel. Don't worry about me. I insist. Sister Anita, I don't want to be of any burden to you beyond your paying my school fees and upkeep allowances, which so far I really appreciate. You have to move in with me, Anita. Listen, my husband is beginning to feel... Yes. I knew there was a catch to this unusual benevolence. All right. I admit. Sorry. Okay? I know there's been distance between us. But Anita, it's just the two of us. Please give me the chance to make things up, okay? 
All I've ever wanted in you was a big sister I can rely on and confide in. That's all. I've also longed to unburden my heart. And I'll be really happy if we could just live under one roof as a happy family. That's my priority. Mom is going to take very good care of you. She's not our mommy. She will kill us before you come back. No, no, no. She loves you guys so much. I swear I just assured them they're going to be his events. a very important trip to the Emirates. I was this close, close to getting a foreign investment I worked my ass so hard for for, 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 for my new production factory. And how am I responsible? Did I steal your ticket? Did I cancel or even get you? Did I even for a second suggest it? Look, don't pretend you have no idea of what I'm driving at. My children have equal rights for peace and comfort in this house as much as you do. Am I denying them that? No, is it my fault? Is it my fault that they hate me? Or they refuse to see me as their mother? Is it my fault? Look, they will love you. If only you show them a bit of love and affection, that's all. Greg, affection is reciprocal. And you know that. No, 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 look at you. Standing here, preaching to me about love and affection. Will you practically turn me to a piece of furniture in this house? All because of, all, all because of the, those your... For your God's friends. sake! Must we go through this rubbish every time? You know what, not, Greg. Go to hell. And you can take your children with you and burn in hell! You know, I was gonna seek your opinion on something, darling. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's about the, uh, the new location for a new building project. I, I don't know. What, what do you think? Okay, I'm leaving, sir. Bye. All right. Oh, Bridget. Could you get me my phone? It's in my room. Hurry up. Yeah, you were saying. Yeah. Like I was saying. Yeah. yeah. If you don't mind, we could probably go. And check it out tomorrow. Oh, don't Yeah, so that makes it a good buy. Yeah. All right. I just needed a second opinion, you know. You know, I can say. Ah. <laughs> I only went so as not to look disobedient, but I think your husband's room should be seen as sacrosanct. 
Moth. circumstances that make you the father of my nieces only mean I can never like you. As such, I can't imagine anything worthwhile we can possibly discuss. I, I perfectly understand you. Absolutely, I hold no grudges with you on that, okay? But at least hear me out first. you remember me? You remember too? Oh, that's cute. You guys have grown so big. You know, situations the other day couldn't allow us to play catch up. But that's why I'm here to see both of you and then we can play catch up. What is catch up at? I'll tell you. Catch up is when two of your people who haven't seen each other in a very long while and when they meet, they fill one another in with things that have been happening when they were apart. Look, Auntie Bridget here is your real mother's younger sister, okay? From now on, she's going to be your man to keep you guys company as much as she can. But, Dad, why, why is her mother not coming to come and look, to come and keep us company? I know why it's she doesn't like us. No, 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 come and don't talk about that. It's true, Dad. That's why she's lying as grandma. No, 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 she didn't. Your mother's a very good one, okay? She can't blame the girls. You and my sister really messed things up in your life. Oh. Hi, what business do you have with my husband? Taris. Nothing is done. Look, bringing, bringing a woman into our matrimonial home, we think, we think that she's what? The children's arms. Look, Greg, just, just, just look at the little tiny girl that you're messing Will around. You shut up! If you are taking up the responsibility of taking care of the kids, I wouldn't have needed help outside. Oh, then I have my foot! Oh, you want to help? 
You want to help? Okay, tell me. What happened to the children's mother? That you now have to go and bring in her younger sister to help her take care of her children for her? There you go again. If I had brought her in the same, you would accuse me of cheating on you with her. No, What's your problem? Will they bring another one? No, will you shut up? No, you shut up. The children are the issue here. And since you don't have the time to take care of the kids, I have the right to seek help wherever necessary. You know what, Greg? I want you to go, take those children, and return them wherever it is you pick them up from, because I don't want them in my house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, right? No, I'm not joking. If you're not comfortable with the kids around, you can go to hell. Come on, let's face it, god damn it. If it's not working out between the two of us, I just have a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're the one joking. So what do you think? You think you could just dump me? After using me and my father to clamp your social and financial status, you think you could just dump me like that? Ah, Greg, you have another thing coming. I dare you to send me out of this house. Bad that you don't want to touch or make love to me anymore. Well, what's the point? What's the point when in the end it all flushes down the drain? What's the point? Is it that you don't love me anymore? Oh please, Anita, please. Can you just stop? This has absolutely nothing to do with love, okay? Is it that you don't get it? Can't you see I'm really getting frustrated? Frustrated? Well, you also have to know that I'm going through trauma over this, Collins. My point exactly. Now that is why I'm trying so hard not to put you under pressure. Okay? But really, have you really sat down to think about this whole thing? Anita, for how long are we going to keep living like this without a child? Tell me, for how long? How are we going to solve the problem if we don't keep trying? Just that we need to talk. Hello, I can't hear you. Hello? 
Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, Greg. I cannot come and see you, okay? Look, we have two daughters together. That at least should give you some concern. I, I need to see you urgently. We need to talk. I trust the affair and fine with you. Hello? Hello? You are so disgusting, Anita. What silly pranks are you up to? I advise you ask how your children are faring. Heartless mother. Greg, you remember? We met him at the burial. Oh, Greg. Yes, I remember. I am. Um, <clears throat> speaking of Greg, can you um, please settle down? Just run it by me again. Let me know how um, you suddenly became cousins with Greg. And I didn't know about it. We've talked about the news. We've talked about this before. I told you that he's my father's brother's son. Your father's brother? You make us father? No. You know, I ask because you made me understand that your late father had just one brother, and that comes down to make us father. Uh, listen, honestly, me, I don't know. I, I know that he's my. Probably it's my father's cousin's son or something like that. You know that. what, you know what, you know what, it's okay. It's okay. I know you're lying to me. Honey, I'm not lying. But you know what? It really hurts. Honestly. It hurts so bad. Honey. Honey, he's my cousin. Why are you behaving like this? He's my cousin, father's cousin's son. Why are you behaving? He's my cousin. He's my relative. Why are you behaving like this? Come on, a cousin is a cousin. <laughs> 